Hey guys, it's Deb. Uh, Welcome to uh, Let's Play uh, The Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge Part 25. Um, in our last episode, Abby and Brandon had a Halloween party. And at the Halloween party, Abby saw um, someone who had crashed the party. Someone dressed as a ghost. And when she looked at him, she got the weirdest uneasy feeling. And she was going to go over and introduce herself to him and find out who it was. Him or her. It looked, the, the figure underneath the sheet, underneath the ghost costume, looked like an adult. And it looked like a male. Uh, and she was going to go over and introduce herself and find out who this mystery person was. But she got sidetracked and she looked away for a split second. And when she turned around again, this mystery person was gone. Uh, but she got the weirdest feeling from this whole experience. And she hasn't said anything to Brandon about it yet, so he doesn't really know. But she did not sleep well last night at all, you know. And when she did sleep, she kept dreaming about her mother. Um, Abby's mother actually came to her in Abby's dream. And at first, at the beginning of the dream, you know, it was a really nice dream because Abby's mother hugged her and told her that she loved her. You know, and everything in that part of the dream felt really wonderful and really nice. It was wonderful for her to see her mother again. But then all of a sudden, Abby's mother got this really serious expression on her face, and she said, Beware, Patrick Muldoon. And those words, they just chilled Abby to the core. And right after she said those words, Abby's mother just faded away. Well, Abby immediately woke up from that dream, um, and she woke up in a cold sweat, and she was just terrified by that dream terrified by the words of her mother and she's just really having a hard time getting that dream out of her mind getting those words out of her mind and she pretty much did not sleep at all whatsoever after she had that dream she just tossed and turned um and it looks like that she and brandon are going to possibly go do a little bit of woody who really quick this morning uh well it's not morning anymore it's almost afternoon uh, but, you know, Abby just needs to be held, and she needs to feel like she's loved, which Brenda does love her, and she needs to feel safe and secure, and, you know, the safest place for Abby is in Brandon's arms, you know, that is where she feels the safest. Uh, but, you know, Abby, she has been thinking a lot about her mother ever since that dream. Now, Abby has a photograph um, of her mother that was actually taken the day before her mother, Elizabeth, passed away. And she has been keeping this photograph very close to her. She's had it tucked away, hidden away, because she did not want anything bad to happen to this photograph. And she was worried that, you know, if they had to move suddenly, you know, or something like that, uh, that she might forget and leave this photograph behind. But she has decided, after having this dream, that she's going to go ahead and hang this photograph of Elizabeth up on the wall. And she noticed something for the first time this morning when she was looking at this photograph after having the dream. Now, this photograph was taken the very day before Elizabeth died, before Elizabeth was murdered. And Abby had always thought that her mother looked beautiful in this picture and did not notice anything unusual about this picture. But this morning... She looked into her mother's eyes in this photograph, and you can kind of tell, although her mother appears happy in this photograph, you can see something haunting in Elizabeth's eyes, almost as if maybe she knew that something bad was about to happen. And it looks like Brandon and Brandon and Abby are looking at the photograph. You know, Abby's showing Brandon the photograph. He's seen it before, and he knows how much it means, you know, to Abby. And he's really glad that she has decided to hang it up in the home. Um, that she feels confident enough that she won't have to run out in the middle of the night and forget the photograph and leave it here. Uh, but Brandon knows how much Abby loves 
her mother still even in, he knows how close the two of them were but yeah she noticed that there's just something kind of unsettling in her mother's eyes in this photograph which she had never noticed before almost as if elizabeth knew that something was getting ready to happen you know the very next day uh, but yeah, that is a photograph of Abby's mom, and she is going to go ahead and hang that up in the house. Um, yeah. And Ooh, <laughs> Brandon just wants to make sure that Abby Joja. knows that she is love. <laughs> and Brandon is disgusted Ooh, by the spoiled food in his inventory. Well, I didn't know he had spoiled food in his inventory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. Spoiled pumpkin pie. We will get rid of that. I don't think you can sell it. We'll just have to clean it up. Um, so, Brandon's... He's going to clean that up. I guess that has to be the spoiled food. Um, because, you know, nothing else in here spoils. Um, but Brandon's homework is done. It is Saturday. And... Um, Guess what? Today is Little Miss Charlotte's birthday. Okay, and originally, Abby had wanted to have a party for Charlotte um, and invite Charlotte's grandparents. Um, With the gun. She wanted to invite, um, you know, Charlotte's grandfather, David, and her step-grandmother, step I guess you could say, Tiffany, and actually have a party. Um, that's what she was actually wanting to do originally. Oh, no. But ever since she has had this dream um, mm -hmm. about her mother and her mother saying beware of Patrick Muldoon. You know, she's decided that she just wants to have a small gathering. Just she, Brandon, and Charlotte. For Charlotte's birthday, and then, you know, today, I believe, is Spooky Day. Um, yeah, today is Spooky Day, and Brandon really wants to take Charlotte trick-or-treating. And Abby, she's just kind of uneasy about this. And she does not want to tell Brandon about the dream that she had, because she does not want to upset Brandon if there's no need. You know, as far as she knows, the last time that Abby checked... Patrick Muldoon was still in Sunset Valley, you know, and there's no reason at all for him to know where Abby is. You know, um, Abby's pretty sure that she's probably looking, that he's probably looking for her. Um, <laughs> and Abby has broke the sink, so she's going to go ahead and she is going to repair the sink. I don't know what her handiness level is. Does she even have a handiness level? It does not look like she does. Does Brandon? Brandon does. Brandon is a level two on the handiness. But Abby really needs to learn that handiness skill. So we will let her repair that really quick. Um, and I forgot what I was saying. But <laughs> Charlotte does age up today. And, uh, you know, Abby does not want to keep her from trick-or-treating really. Because... She doesn't want to upset everyone's life if there's no need to have their lives upset. Also, today was supposed to be the prom. However, um, I did have to reset the town quite a while ago. Um, in one of the earlier, a couple of episodes ago, I reset the town. And so now it says that, oh, wrong, wrong location. Where's the school? Here it is. Now it says that the prom is on Tuesday at 6 p.m. So, you know, that's okay. Um, so, yeah. And Abby and Brandon will be aging up pretty soon. Now, I need to let you know what is going to be going on with that. Um, Brandon ages up in three days. Now, Abby ages up in four days, I believe. Yes, she does. Now, when Abby ages up, I'm going to call this particular um, challenge, the um, Runaway Teens Challenge, will come to an end on the day that Abby ages up. However, what I have decided to do is um, Brandon, Abby, and Charlotte will be featured in another Let's Play immediately following this one. As soon as this one ends, 
I'm going to be starting a legacy challenge um, and with Brandon, Abby, and Charlotte. Charlotte will be the first generation of this legacy challenge. And I'm probably going to call it... Well, actually, she'll be the... Yeah, I guess she'll be called the first generation. I'm probably going to call this Let's Play Abby's Legacy or something like that. Um, so even though this particular Let's Play will be ending... We will still have these characters um, in a Let's Play. Now, the reason I have decided to do this is because I have become extremely attached to these characters, and I want to see how their lives play out. So, you can let me know what you think about my plan in the comments down below. If you like it, let me know. If you hate it, if you want to get rid of these characters and do something else, let me know that too. I will always have a Sims 3 um, Let's Play on my channel for the foreseeable f future because I will be 100% totally honest with you and let you know that The Sims 3 is still my favorite Sims game. Um, yes, it takes a little while to load at the beginning of the game, you know, but once you load in, you know, you're loaded in. You don't have to wait for loading screens. So it is my favorite of The Sims games. Um, so, yeah, I will always, for the foreseeable future, I will always have a Sims 3 Let's Play on my channel. Um, so, yeah, there you go. So, Abby has got that sink repaired, and she cleaned the toilet, it looks like. And so, now we're going to hop over um, into buy mode, and we are going to pick up a birthday cake for Miss Charlotte. I think we're going to get Miss Charlotte a chocolate cake. Okay, and um, it is time to age her up. She should not be sleepy. No, she's not sleepy. She's just sleeping because she's in that swing. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to go ahead and we are going to age up Miss Charlotte. I cannot wait to see what little Miss Charlotte is going to look like. I have a feeling she is going to be absolutely gorgeous when she grows up. She, um... Of course has Brandon's hair and Brandon has blue eyes and I believe Abby has blue eyes as well and I'm pretty sure Charlotte's got blue eyes but she does have Brandon's hair and Brandon's going to be picking her up and bringing her over to the birthday cake <laughs> and it just seems oh, like just no, yesterday when so. she became a toddler um, yeah and we're having some error trap whatever's mm. But, um, it is Charlotte's birthday, and let's get, I want to get a screenshot of this right here. Got to do this. <laughs> Look at that. Such a happy, wonderful family. Brandon loves Charlotte so much. He just adores her. She and Abby are Brandon's world. They truly are. Okay, so, here we go. And I'm going to try to kind of speed through this a little bit. Through all the, the noisiness and everything. And see if we can have her age up. Okay, little Miss Charlotte, let's go. Raina's going to go play with Bailey. Okay, there she is. With crawling and cribs behind her, Charlotte has finally gotten her on her own two feet and become a child. Due to your excellent parenting skills, you may now choose a trait for Charlotte Charlotte to develop. Um, I should have looked to see what um, Abby and Brandon's traits were. She's athletic and she's artistic. Um, how about if we make her... I don't know. Let Oh. Because we are starting a legacy challenge with her, let's make her family oriented. I think that'll be great. Okay, so there she is, little Miss Charlotte, and she's in a bathing suit. And she has the hair that I absolutely, totally, and completely despise. <laughs> um, I'm going to fix her up just a little bit, her, her outfit, in um, Create a Sim, and I'll be right back. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I have adjusted Charlotte's wardrobe, and I did decide to put her in a ponytail after spending 20 minutes, probably, looking at every single hairstyle I have, 
And I have determined that I do definitely need more children's hairstyles um, in my game. Ooh, I went through all my cool. custom content not long ago and got rid of a lot of hairstyles. And I didn't realize that I got rid of most of the children's hairstyles, which was kind of stupid on my part. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, that is what she is wearing. And she has a style that is all her own, which you will see um, with her various outfits that I have given her. Um, and I did take a peek at what she's going to look like when she becomes a young adult. And I can tell you that she is going to be absolutely gorgeous. She truly is. Um, she's a very, very pretty girl. And I think she's going to be wonderful to do a legacy challenge with. Okay, now what is little Bailey wanting? He's he's like he's wanting something. He's trying to go somewhere. I don't know. His social's good. His destruction needs to be um, fixed. Now, little Bailey, it's time for him to age up too. So we're going to go ahead and trigger his age transition and let him age up too. Um if he'll be still <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do that so that way he will be able to um go outside and do things with charlotte and they can play together and he won't have to worry about having to be carried all the time so here we go little bailey it's little bailey's birthday everybody has to celebrate and blow their horns and all that good stuff Okay, and let's see what little Bailey looks like now. Look at Bailey. He is so pretty. What's the deal with his ears, though? His ears look kind of strange. <laughs> but other than that, um, he's a nice-looking dog with weird ears. <laughs> okay. It's like I can't tell whether his ears are supposed to be pointed upward. Or if they're supposed to be lying down. I'm not 100% sure. So, I think they're lying down. Yeah, I think maybe. Okay. Alright. Well, Bailey is a very nice looking dog. Um, you know, we got him from the pound. So, uh, yeah, now he can chew on toys and stuff. Um, and take care of his destruction that way. And look at little Charlotte loading the dishwasher. That's so cute. Now, um, Brandon kind of sort of had his heart set on taking little Charlotte trick-or-treating. Um, I don't know if anyone is at home. A lot of people, you know, they stay out during the day. You know, it's not nighttime yet, so... Um, but I was just kind of looking at the households just to see if people were at home... And I don't see anyone in their homes. Everyone is out and about doing things um, and that sort of nature. So when it gets dark, um, we might take little Charlotte trick-or-treating. You know, you can't trick-or-treat if no one's at home. So uh, really what, what they probably should do is they probably should take Charlotte over to see Brandon's dad. Um, so that is what Brandon's going to do. You know, he really wanted um, his dad to, I bet his dad's at the fire station. He really wanted his dad to be a part of the party. Uh, but without telling him her reasons, you know, for not wanting to do that, um, Abby's like, well, let's have it just be us. And that is true. <laughs> his father is a workaholic, evidently, because he is at the fire station. Um, so, we are going to all go to the fire station and let Charlotte see her grandfather. And I hope that, um, okay, alright, there he is, right there. So, we are going to go here with, and we're going to bring Bailey too. Abby, Bailey, and Charlotte. Now that Bailey is old enough, um, to go places. So, yeah, that's really good that he aged up too. <laughs> and Abby... Abby and Charlotte are pillow fighting, of course. Of course they are. <laughs> and Abby just cannot believe that Charlotte is a child. You know, Abby, she's so young herself, you know. Um, 
It's just hard for her to believe everything that has happened to her since she left home. And one of the things that I absolutely love in The Sims 3 is that you can look inside the cars and see everyone in there. Abby's not in there yet. Let's wait till Abby gets in and then we'll do it. Come on, Abby. Oh, Abby's in there now. How you can... Oh, is her head sticking through the roof? I don't know. <laughs> but little Charlotte, of course, the birthday girl, gets to ride in the front seat. Um, and yeah, here we go. We're going to go over and see Brandon's father. And Abby's head is sticking out <laughs> of the back windshield. So, yeah. <laughs> Just a little glitch with this particular car, I guess. But I do love how that you can look in the cars and see who's in there. And I love how you can look in the school buses and see the children on the school buses, too. Um, there are just so many little things about The Sims 3 that make it so special. And who is this person? This is Barbar Barrows. So I guess that's Kyle Barrows' mother. And this is Lloyd Barrows, so I guess that's Ky Kyle Barrows' little brother. So, um, yeah, Charlotte wants to see her grandfather, so she is going to be funny with her grandfather, and she's going to make a silly face, and she's going to tell him a funny story. Kind of, um, build up their relationship a little bit more. Oh, well, they've already got a really good relationship, so that is good. And Abby is going to go ahead and call Tiffany, who is Brandon's stepmother, and invite her over also. So that she could come over and spend a little bit of time with Charlotte. You know, it is a Saturday, so, you know, hopefully Tiffany's not busy. Yeah, okay, Tiffany said she's going to come over in a little while. <laughs> and Brandon's getting out with his own bad self over here. And I kind of wish this person would leave. Um, <laughs> where is Charlotte? Uh-oh, it looks like Bailey is tearing up the furniture. So, uh, we need to scold him for that. Let's see. Scold for being destructive. So, we're going to do that. Because we do not want him tearing up these bar stools. Be hugged. Okay. You need to scold. You need to scold your dog. Reinforcement. Scold for being destructive. Ah. I guess we should, um, we should put some toys in Bailey's inventory. Yeah, we need to go home and get some toys and put them in Bailey's inventory. Um, that's what we need to do. So that he will have something with him all the time. So that he can chew. So that he doesn't um, ruin everything. Okay, we'll just put this in his inventory. This bone. Okay. And we will have Bailey. Can you not chew the bone, Bailey? So is that not even going to work? Let's see. Maybe it's because he's being scolded at the moment. You can't chew on that, Bailey. It's not nice. Okay, let's see. No, he can't chew the chewy toy? Okay, well, we're going to have to take the chewy toy out to let him chew the chewy toy. And maybe we won't forget to put it back in his inventory uh, before we leave. But he was scolded, poor baby. Okay. Um, Charlotte's painting? Oh, wow. Charlotte is painting on her own. Can you believe that? Okay, it looks like we are going to have to buy little Charlotte an easel. We'll do that for Charlotte's birthday present because look at her. She is painting on her own. Well, she does have the artistic trait. So that is so great that she's doing that without me telling her to. So we are going to go ahead and buy Charlotte an easel as her birthday present. 
and we're going to have to redo Charlotte's room, of course. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to save um, some of these things. Hey, what's all this junk that we've got in our inventory? How do we have all of this stuff in our family inventory? How do we have another camp, two cameras and What in the world is going on here? I bet I know what happened. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just delete all this stuff because here's what happened. And let me show you really quick. Okay, when I was setting up this whole thing with Abby Sherwood's mother, there she is, there's Abby Sherwood's mother, to get her, to get Elizabeth Muldoon on Abby's, um, what you would call it, family tree? Um, of course, I had to put her in here, and when she passed away, <laughs> all of the things that were in her inventory evidently went into the household inventory, I guess, is how we got all that, because I know that we've never had, you know what, maybe we have had a clothing dryer, maybe we got that when we went um, dumpster diving, I don't know, but what I'm going to do is... I do not want us getting the money for, for all this stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these things. What What's wrong? I can't, I've got to sell him, huh? Okay, well, it's just $126 or smolians or whatever. Um, I do not want them, even though this is not really a money challenge, um, it seems like I had purchased, okay, well, I don't know, seems like I had purchased a flying disc. We're going to keep the flying disc. Um, we're just going to put it right here for right now. But everything else, we're going to delete. Because I don't want to get the money from it. Even though this is not a money challenge. You know. Boop. <laughs> Things going a little too fast. Okay. Alright. So. Um, we are going to keep the flying disc. And we're going to put this flying disc in Charlotte's inventory, and now we are going to purchase, okay, we're going to put some of this stuff um, in our household inventory because we're most likely going to be having more children. We know that Charlotte will be having children in the next Let's Play, so we're just going to save all of this stuff. Um, we're going to have to buy little Charlotte a bed, and we're going to have to buy her an easel for her birthday. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do this either um, in between episodes or in the next episode because it's time for me to say goodbye. But I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. Please let me know what you think about everything in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.